I want to introduce a word. The word is fiat, fiat. For most of us, that's probably a French automobile. I don't know how the automobile got to be named that, but the word is from Latin and it means something about a creative command. I think of Captain Picard from Star Trek, where he says, make it so. A fiat is a creative command to make it so. I'd like to read a quotation from Frederick Douglass from 1852. Frederick Douglass, how's your US history? Frederick Douglass was a slave. He came into this world a slave in pre-Civil War America. And he became an abolition, abolitionist and quite well known. <clears throat> and in 1852, he said this, I do not despair of this country. The celestial empire, the mystery of ages is being solved. The fiat of the almighty, let there be light, has not yet spent its force. The fiat of the almighty, let there be light, has not yet spent its force. And so it is for us today, the very power of creation, the fiat of creation, the make it so of creation, the creative command of the creator is on the move as it always has been from the very beginning of creation. Biblically, that's traced in all kinds of ways. It's traced in terms of the breath of life being breathed into man, into humankind. There's the, the fiat of the almighty, the compulsion, the creative command of life itself was breathed into us as humanity. Has that creative power spent its force? Frederick Douglass was facing an America in which there was slavery. He himself had been a slave. This was prior to the Civil War that the writing to some degree was on the wall. And yet he had this faith, this knowing of the fiat of the almighty that was at work. I wanna skip forward to the dawn of this country in 1776, there was a declaration of independence We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thomas Jefferson penned those words. America was not a place of equality at the time. Thomas Jefferson himself was a slaveholder as were many of the others who signed the De Declaration of Independence. This was not a de declaration of perfection. This was an articulation of the fiat of the Almighty that was moving in the consciousness of people. They began to become more vividly aware that there was something to manifest for, for human beings. And they were very aware that what they were doing had broad implications around the world, that the whole world was watching what they were doing. So there were implications for America, but implications for the world. And it was a dream and a promise. That dream is yet to be fulfilled. We could all speak of the faults of America. And yet there was the promise of what's possible to humankind that they were feeling. They didn't speak of it in these terms, but I believe they were feeling 
the promise that Jesus of Nazareth brought to the world. He brought a promise of love. And out of love comes equality. And he, in his own way, taught equality. That all people should be treated with dignity and honor. Yes? So fast forward to today. Fast forward to today. How do we measure our progress as humanity? If Frederick Douglass could have that kind of faith in a country that had enslaved him, to say, I do not despair of this country, the celestial empire, the mystery of ages is being solved. The fiat of the Almighty, let there be light, has not yet spent its force. There is a man who was conscious of that. Of course, the powers of creation are at work. Didn't take Frederick Douglass being aware of it to make them be at work, but he became aware of it with others. And that awareness is a huge factor. And that awareness that, that prevails through all the vicissitudes, all the ups and downs of the creative process, out of evil and into, into evil. There is something at work that, yes, invites our conscious participation, yes, Creation invites our conscious participation so that we are co-creators. We are creating with the creator in the world. And yet what is happening isn't based on what you and I are doing. The powers of creation are at work. How do we participate in those powers of creation? Hearing the fiat of the Almighty. How do we say yes? I uh, hear the fiat of the Almighty. Let there be light. Let there be truth. Let there be knowledge. Not knowledge in the sense of accumulated facts. We have computer data banks for that these days. That's not the kind of knowledge that we're in such dire need of. We are in, in need of real knowing, knowing of the compulsion of creation and all the wisdom that's inherent in it and all of the information that is telling us who we are and why we're here and what is ours to do, to participate actively as an agent of creation, as a co-creator, bringing the light of creation into the world.